I'm Paul Begley. What's going on? What's going on? 7,000 dead buffalo in Vietnam? Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm Paul Begley. Get your coffee. The Bible signs just keep, just keep happening. And people don't want to hear about it. And they don't even want to believe it. The mass media is running from the story now. They broke it when the 5,000 dead birds fell out of the sky in BB, Arkansas. They thought maybe it was fireworks gave them a heart attack. What they didn't think, what they didn't know was 100,000 dead fish would wash up on the riverbank in Arkansas the next day. And then 3,000 blackbirds would fall out of the sky dead in Texas, followed by 2,000 in Louisiana, followed by 1,000 in Maryland. Five or six hundred in Kentucky, two or three hundred in California, and then the Netherlands, Switzerland, Sweden, and Venezuela, New Zealand, and then two million dead fish would wash ashore in the Chesapeake Bay, followed by 40,000 dead crabs on the shores of England, and several hundred dead fish in New Zealand without eyes, and then 200 dead cows fell dead overnight in Wisconsin, in Stockton, Wisconsin. And now 7,000 buffalo in Vietnam? So you see the signs of the time. Go to Hosea. If you go to Hosea and read chapter 4, verses 1, 2, and 3, it tells you God's got a problem. It says God has a controversy or God has a problem with the inhabitants of the earth. Why? Because there's no truth, nor mercy, nor the knowledge of God in the land. And then he says, and because of swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, men are going to languish in the land. For the beast will die, the fowls of the air, and the fish of the sea shall be taken away. See, these are the signs of the coming of the end of the apocalypse. This is the time when the world needs to realize that soon the Antichrist will rise. The new world order will come into effect. One world currency under a one world government with an Antichrist who shall bring peace and prosperity before persecution. The church will come under tremendous persecution. I'm talking about the Christians and the Jews and those who fight and those who believe in democracy and freedom to have that right to worship. They're going to come under great persecution. The mark of the beast will be established. You, without it, you can't buy or sell. Hosea prophesied of a day that would come that we're seeing today in 2011. Now, I don't believe this May 21st, 2011 is the day of the end of the world because there's no biblical basis for that. And I don't believe in the, the, I know the Mayan calendar comes to an end on December 21st, 2012. Again, but there's no biblical basis for that. And I realize that Nairobi, that 10th planet, is supposed to swing by based on um, hydrographics of, uh, of an ancient days. But I'm here to tell you what I do know, biblical truths. That the Bible says in Matthew 24, there'd be wars and rumors of wars. There'd be earthquakes in diverse places, famines pestilence, diseases. There would be a uh, nation rising against nation, kingdoms against kingdoms, G global jihad, Muslims declaring a jihad, a holy war on the Christians and the Jews. Folks, we're living in this day when sin is rampant and people don't want you to say it's a sin. The seven abominations of the Bible are before our very eyes. Abortion. Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm not as shocked about 7,000 dead buffalo or 5,000 dead blackbirds or 200 dead cows or 100,000 dead fish. That doesn't shock me. What shocks me is 50 million aborted babies in America dripping off the air elbows of the sterile floor of, the, of our own theology. We go, listen, America is just singing Amazing Grace. Brad Pitt's walking down the red carpet. Instead of people going to the red blood of Jesus Christ, we have become a nation of unbelievers. And then we wonder why the signs are all around us. I'm Paul Begley. Dead cows. 
dead buffalo, the signs of the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do you know the Lord is your Savior?